Hey guys, Hansi here. One of my favorite YouTubers is a channel called Cody's Lab and he has made a series called Gardening with Cody and it's really cool because he's made an aquaponic system which is a system that circulates water to his plants and automatically waters them so we can grow plants and vegetables and things like that. And I think this idea is really awesome and I want to do something similar but on a smaller scale and maybe so that it can be inside of my house. Today we're gonna start with the basics, just make a system that pumps water to uh, some seeds based on the moisture levels in the soil. The pump I'm gonna be using is a little 12 volt DC submersible pump, water pump. To contain all the plants and stuff I have this little plastic box that I just got at the local hardware store. What I want to do is to run some of this, this plastic tube along the sides of the box. Then we can maybe cut some holes in them and uh, when the water is getting pumped through it then the water will kind of be distributed inside of the box. So that's the idea. And afterwards we'll need to add some electronics, uh, also maybe add some grow lights on top of it and of course the moisture sensors. But first let's do the watering system. So we're gonna begin by taking these plastic hole connectors. These are T-shaped so we can run one plastic tube on each side of the box. So that's the idea. So I'm just gonna drill a hole now in each of the sides. So now that we have our holes we can insert the, the T connectors inside the holes. They should fit pretty good. It's the perfect size so it's a little bit tough to get in. So now I'm just gonna lay the tube, try to kind of figure out the approximate length of the tube. It's always better to just cut a little longer than you need. You can always cut it shorter afterwards. It's gonna be a little bit tough. So there's one and on the other side. So now both are connected and then I can just push the tube inside. The pressure just holds the tube in place. And I'll just repeat the same for the other side as well. I have this large, if you can see it on cam here, this is a large water container. And I think this is what's gonna supply the water to the boxes. The connector end of the motor is eight millimeters. So just using an eight millimeter drill bit for this and just drilling a hole straight in here. And then the pump will go into the hole and it's already a pretty good fit. I'm just gonna seal it with hot glue for now, but I can probably go back and change that later if there's a problem with it. This is a little bit hard to get out again. Broke. I have another pump, luckily. So I'm just gonna go fill this with water and then we'll try to connect it to the water and hopefully everything will just go from this pump through the entire system and I'm back, back into the water container. Now I'll flip it sideways so the pump can actually pump the water. Nothing is leaking, that's good. And I have my bench power supply here so that yes seems to be working everything is going through the the water is going through both the sides yes seems good so I disconnected the water and now we have all the boxes here so what I'm gonna do next is use this scalpel to cut a little slit in the tubes and I'm gonna try to make it so that the water is kind of distributed throughout the entire box and uh, hence the, all the soil that we put in later will, will be covered with water. <laughs> so two of them seems to work fine. We need to cut a little bigger hole in this one at least.
You may have wondered why some of the water went out of the box. I'm gonna put some plastic wrap on top of this to contain some heat and also to uh, contain the water inside the box. These are just gonna be used for growing plants from seeds to sprouts. Then I'll replant them when they are large enough. So I made a little test setup here with three sensors connected to an Arduino, if you can see it in the middle here. Um, this Arduino powers each sensor and it also reads the value that they get from the moisture sensors. So what I basically want to do with this is get a baseline for how dry it is when it needs to be watered. This script, all it does now is to log each of the sensor values and output it to me so I can see what it is. So if you come around here... So if you see the values of box um, 1, it should be around 600, 700 now. So, so it reads about 700 when it's in this kind of new moist soil. Uh, and I have a little cup of super dry soil which has been standing in my shelf for about 3-4 weeks. It's like, it has no moisture at all. So if I take the sensor and put it in this soil, then the value drops to about three, 300. This is really useful to know because obviously we're not gonna want the soil to be this dry, but I think the moisture of the soil when it came out of the, of the little bag here was actually pretty, it's pretty moist. So I think this is a good moisture to, to aim for. So what I'm gonna do now is just leave this for tomorrow and log all the data that I get. And hopefully it will provide some useful information so we can get this going. So it's been about 12 hours and not much has happened. It's become a little bit drier, so the values has decreased a little bit. I don't think it's dry enough for it to be watered just yet. So we're gonna set a threshold of the values for when it needs to be watered and then the pump will trigger. For now, I think we'll make this a permanent setup. So we have to do the soldering and then connect the pump and kind of, I'm gonna have it behind me here. So we're gonna put it all there. So let's do that. So I made this box and this box is basically just an Arduino connected to a relay. So the Arduino can control the relay. And as you see here, there's there's three inputs or three power connectors. There's the 12 volt in where I connect the power source. There's a 12 volt out connector, which is for LED strips and things like that. And then you have the connector for the relay itself that will go to the pump. I have a male connector on this one and I can just put it into the relay and then I will power it here and then the Arduino can turn on the pump basically. What I need to do now is to take these power cables from the moisture sensors and put them into the box and place them on the breadboard. The reason I'm using a breadboard here instead of soldering everything is because this is something I'll be working a lot on in the future and I want to be able to just like take the lid on this box, I can just take it off like this. And then I'm, I can upgrade the electronics. For instance, in the future I want to change the Arduino for maybe an ESP so I can report the logs uh, through Wi-Fi. That would be an idea for something we could do in the future. Anyway, that's why I'm using a breadboard. So now I've hooked up all the cables and everything is now inside the box. Doesn't look super pretty but it works. I'll put the schematic for the circuit in the description. I'll also leave a link to the code that I've used. So now it's time to move these over to the shelf and connect it to the water tank and then hopefully they will water themselves. I also added this cable into the box so I can upload new code to the Arduino without taking everything apart every time. Just for convenience, tank of water right next to it on the shelf here.
In the future, I want to expand the setup so it can take not only seeds and sprouts, but maybe even whole plants. Uh, I also want to make it so that it's Wi-Fi compatible, so statistics can be exported through Wi-Fi. I want to thank our Patreon supporter Gudvig for suggesting this project in the first place. It has been a lot of fun, so thank you. If you want to stay updated on us and how the plants are doing, then follow us on Instagram. I'll make sure to post some pictures of the plant progress there. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Yes.